Hey, you're listening to Marketing Out Loud, a daily podcast where I share advice, stories, and insights to help you build a thriving consulting or professional services practice. To subscribe to the show, head over to marketingoutloud.fm. So I had a call the other day with a prospect that I had actually connected with a few months back, back in November. And uh, I remember I remember it vividly because she sent me an email saying, hey, I signed up for your lead generation crash course, but I haven't gotten the first lesson. Uh, great marketing, terrible process. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, what happened? Anyhow, it turns out it was a, uh, it was a, uh, I don't actually, I don't even know what happened. She ended up getting the lesson shortly thereafter. There was a bit of a delay in, in the, uh, the email autoresponder kicking in. But um, we connected back in November and, um, uh, we, you know, we exchanged emails, but for whatever reason, I don't really remember it, to be honest. We didn't really engage or connect on the phone for a conversation. And um, somehow she uh, she came top of mind again recently and um, sent her a message. And uh, we had a bit of an exchange. And this time we got on the phone. And she said to me, after we talked for a bit, she said, look, I'll be honest with you. If we had talked back in November, we would have had a very different conversation. Because at the time, I was looking for someone to help me with my marketing. Um, but now I've already gone ahead and made certain investments, and I've got a process, I've got a strategy, and so on and so forth. And, um, you know, it, it, I thought it was, it was a good reminder that in this business, timing is everything. And it's something that we really tend to forget as sellers because, you know, we're so consumed by our own priorities, our own timelines, our own ways of doing things, we forget you know, buyers have their own timeline. They have their own schedule. They have their own um, expectation as to when things should and should not get done. And uh, we forget that because back in November, when she first reached out to me, that's when she was going through the buyer's journey. She was going through a buying decision. And that's why she was looking at my stuff. And for whatever reason, we didn't connect. But had we had that conversation then, I would have been in a much better position to, uh, to, uh, to work with her. But because now she's been through the buying process, you know, she's, she's made certain decisions. She's engaged coaches and service providers. Now it's a bit too late. Um, contrast that with other scenarios that I've had when I've talked, when I've been talking to prospects who were in the right place at the right time. And they reached out to me and they were motivated and they were ready to make a decision. And, you know, I've had, I've talked about it on the show before I've had people agree to work with me on the first call, just like that actually happens quite regularly. Um, and the lesson in all of this is timing is everything. And your timing is not what matters. The buyer's timing is what matters. So a good takeaway from this is when somebody reaches out to you or when they engage with you or when they join your email list, or they take some kind of action to demonstrate their interest, that is the best time to follow up and engage with them because there's something going on in their world that's making this a now conversation because they've taken some action to demonstrate that this is a now conversation. And if you wait too long to follow up with those people, then it's not to say that that'll never become an opportunity because they may not solve the problem the first time around. Their needs might change down the road. There may be opportunities in the future, but the time to strike is right then and there in the moment. So if you can shorten the time in which you engage and you follow up with leads who, who contact you, then that's always a better thing. And the other lesson I want you to take away from this is, remember your timeline doesn't matter, but yeah, you got revenue goals, you've got targets that you wanna hit. That's all fine and good. Buyers don't care. Their timeline is what matters and they're gonna make a decision when they're good and ready. And the more that you remember that, I think the more patience you're going to have in going through the sales process and the more you'll, uh, you'll, you'll, I think, get some perspective on when and how buyers make decisions. Hey, thanks for listening. Do me a favor. If you like what you hear, go on iTunes and leave us a rating and a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much.